recently I watched Children of the Corn. This is a film from 2023, however, it first premiered at a film festival in 2020. The film follows basically the uprising of the children in the Children of the Corn. If you know anything about the original, basically a couple of people stumble upon a dead body of a young boy and they wander into a town full of nothing but children. This movie is more about how those children took control of that town and the events that happened just prior. Overall, the movie was pretty fucking boring, I'm not gonna lie to you. There was a really good acting job done by the young girl who leads the the children but overall it was just a schlocky piece of shit uh there is an interesting bit at the end where we get some cgi that also looks particularly horrifying and not in a way that makes me think that this is a good horror movie but just like oh my god or this is a cgi person's nightmare a cgi animator's nightmare I think that it was kind of shocking and interesting seeing the way that the kids took over the town and how everything sort of quickly devolved, but again, it doesn't really feel like it goes anywhere or hits any heights, and it does have a lot of gore, but doesn't feel like there's much of a reason for it. It does show how terrifying the kids are, but honestly, kids running around trying to kill you with chainsaws is already pretty terrifying in of itself. I don't think you need to go much further than that. And that's all I really have to say for the spoiler-free review. There's not much else I can go into without getting into spoilers. So if you want to watch the movie, which I don't know why you would, but it is on streaming right now. It was on th in theaters until a couple days ago. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and check it out and then come back. So hopefully everybody who doesn't want spoilers has clicked off by now because that's what that whole announcement was about. But let's go ahead and get into the spoiler-filled reviews. So, essentially, a young 12-year-old girl is very upset at the town's corruption. Then what happens is she starts to recruit young kids in order to take out the corrupt adults by kidnapping them, tying them up, burying them alive, gouging their eyes out. There's all sorts of fucking crazy shit that happens here. But again, it all feels somewhat spaced apart at the beginning, and then when we get to the actual horror part of it it's more just a gore fest rather than any actually thrilling or horrifying imagery we do have this interesting plot where basically an older high schooler uh, and her brother are in the town her brother ends up getting kind of mind been mind fucked by the little 12 year old girl and he joins her side and overall as they go ahead and they kill the adults the town whittles away until finally it's pretty much just the high school girl who's left opposing the 12 year old uh, again we get a bunch of shit like they go and they uh, kidnap all the parents they put them into chains and then they toss them in a hole and bury them alive I think the little 12 year old girl like I said is definitely one of the best acting performances here she did a really good job of seeming really threatening and on top of that seemed very commanding overall and so that made me really understand, hey, this kid really can command some folks. Especially when we get this whole trial scene. Basically, the older high school girl wants the uh, little girl to have a trial for the adults. And then the little girl has the trial without the, the high schooler there and just deems them all guilty. And that's when we kind of get this whole cascade effect of killing all the adults. One of the worst bits is at the end we have this whole thing where we have he who walks, the, the monster of the corn, and it's literally just a corn monster. It's very hard to look at. It doesn't look good in any way, shape, or form. It makes me want to gouge my eyes out personally. And overall, we get the girl, uh, the high school girl, as the young kids try to kill her, she devises a plan in order to blow up the entire cornfield. So there's this car that's leaking gas. She kind of drives it through. She had gas 
all over her. Don't know how she didn't catch on fire, but, you know, it is what it is. So basically, she destroys the entire cornfield, also taking out the monster of the corn. And then at the end of all of that, the little girl walks into the cornfield in order to die alongside her now dead fantasy. And I think it had some interesting bits about, you know, what it means to be a child, what it means to have to be subservient to adults that lead you in wrong ways or bad ways a lot of the time. However, none of that is really explored. It's all traded in for a bunch of shock, horror, gore type shit. And honestly, it just leaves me, again, pretty fucking bored. And also, it takes, you know, an hour and a half to describe everything I just described, which felt unnecessary. This could have been a 45-minute short, and it wouldn't have made any type of difference. Now, I do want to say this is probably more of what Stephen King's original, like, draft script for uh, Children of the Corn was. Like, I guess Stephen King wanted, or he wrote the original 1984 uh, version first, and then his script was tossed to the side in turn for a more violent violent and graphic script. Uh, however, his script talked more about the uprising of the kids and all that other stuff. So this is definitely more along the lines of what he would have done, but it's definitely not good. All right. Have you guys seen this film? Uh, did you guys have any thoughts that you wanted to leave in the comments below? Because definitely let us know. Uh, let us know if there's anything we got wrong, we got right. Other than that, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram. That'll pop up during the outro. And you can follow us on all of our other socials down in the description below. All right, I'll see you on the next video. I stay sound of